So the first shader pack of this video is called Arcane Shaders, and this is a unique one in that I've never shown you guys this shader pack before in one of my shaders videos. And before we take a proper look at the shader pack, I just want to let you know that I'm recording this using Iris Shaders because as of recording this, Optifine isn't out yet. So if you want to install Iris Shaders to be able to use these shaders as well, check out the video that will pop up in the top right corner right now. Also, I am not 100% sure whether all of these packs will look the exact same with Iris Shaders as they do with Optifine. So Arcane Shaders are these beautiful shaders that make me feel pretty nostalgic because they look a bit like a shader pack that I believe is called Mr. Meep Shaders. And that is a shader pack that is no longer around, that no longer works, I believe. And I included that shader pack back in my first ever video here on the Daniel Plays channel about shaders. Now that's pretty cool. And this shader pack looks a lot like it in that it puts a blue purple-ish shade over everything. And it's shadows are quite harsh and quite sharp which I don't mind because I really like the way this pack looks. Obviously, that's why I decided to include it in this video. Look at how good this looks, but at the same time, it just makes me feel so nostalgic because it looks a bit like Mr. Meep shaders. If you want to check out one of these shaders yourself, just check out the links down below in the description. This one is called Complementary Shaders. Complementary Shaders is a colorful BSL edit that looks super good. The only thing that you do not get with Iris shaders is the integrated complementary resources because they simply do not work with Iris shaders. So for that, you have to use Optifine. Now, Complementary Shaders adds so many cool effects from clouds, which I believe I disabled, to realistic water, very realistic and cool looking sun, and as I mentioned before, these very nice vibrant colors. And one of the propagules has just grown into a full mangrove tree, which means my little uh, shader showcase spot right here is full of tree and mangrove roots. Anyway, this next shader is called Oceano Shaders, and this one is just really cool, especially if we take a look at an actual river or lake or ocean. Look at how cool and vibrant and blue this water is. I personally think that looks super cool. If you guys agree with me, let me know down below in the comments. And also, you know, now that you're scrolling down to the comments on your way, you might as well hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell right next to it. This pack is also packed with features. It has wavy leaves, has a cool looking sun. It has shadows, which are kind of smooth and uh, look a little bit better than the ones on the arcane shaders. Although, of course, you can configure these shaders, at least most of them, to have either better quality uh, shadows and run worse or have worse quality shadows and give you more FPS. I am very excited about this next one called Super Duper Vanilla Shaders. Now, that is a name for a shader pack, right? Super Duper Vanilla Shaders are a very colorful Minecraft shader pack based on the super duper graphics that we were once promised by Mojang and Nvidia, but that turned out to become RTX, but we never actually got the super duper graphics uh, pack or something like that that we were promised. Now this pack is based on that promotional video that we once got to see and never actually got to experience in Minecraft. And this is the result. A super colorful, very vibrant pack with very realistic graphics as you can see, the clouds stay very true to the vanilla Minecraft clouds, which is really cool. I always like it when there's these vanilla clouds, these square clouds, but with 3D elements and shader elements to them. Apart from that, the water looks pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure, like I said, whether Iris Shader displays every single feature in these packs correctly, because most of them were still designed and used and tested with Optifine. This pack should work fine even on Iris Shaders. And here's the next one, and this is also already the last shader pack. This one is called Sunflower Shaders with an A, so not Sunflower, but Sunflower Shaders. I guess there's no real difference in the pronunciation there, but this pack is very complete and also very different from the other packs. It is a lot more desaturated. It it looks very different. It is not as colorful, but still a really cool looking shader. It's more realistic in my opinion in that the greens aren't so bright green as they probably would not always be in real life. Also the clouds will look really cool, although if you pay close attention you can see they're a little pixelated, but they look really cool, very realistic. And what I like with this pack is that the whites are really bright and some of the dark spots can also get really dark, which 
I think is more realistic than some of the other packs that make everything look very bright. So these shaders look great as long as you don't get near any bodies of water. It looks a bit slimy and a bit weird. But if you're like, hey, I can deal with that and I like these shaders, then be sure to check out the description for a link to all of these shader packs. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found a shader pack that you may or may not have heard of before and that you really wanna check out after watching this video. And then before I leave you, just another quick reminder, please subscribe to this channel because most of you guys watching are not subscribed to this channel. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want other people to discover this video as well. Leave a comment down below with your favorite shader. And of course, you can also leave suggestions for other shaders that I should have included and may include in future videos. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.